Welcome to this tutorial on Seeing Machines Guardian Live web application. Guardian Live enables access to the data generated by the driver safety systems installed in your vehicles. This tutorial gives an overview of its key functions. For more detail, please refer to the Guardian Live user guide in the Technical Communications Portal or TCP. As a new user, you will receive an activation email after an administrator creates an account for you in Guardian Live. If your role requires you to log into Guardian Live, you will receive a second email requesting you set a password. You access Guardian Live by navigating to the Guardian Live web address in your browser. Log in using your email address and the password you created. If you forget your password, you can reset it from the login page. A reset password email will be sent to the email address associated with your account. For security purposes, the system will prompt you to reset your password every three months. Guardian Live contains sensitive information. Access to it is controlled for data privacy. What you see when you log in will depend on your level of access. Access levels are controlled by allocating a scope and grants to each user. Your scope controls the breadth of information you can see in Guardian Live. Possible scopes include fleet and account. A fleet is one or more Guardian systems installed in vehicles grouped together. They operate from a single geographic location and time zone. An account consists of one or more fleets. They operate across different geographic locations and time zones. Most users are allocated the scope of fleet. They have permission to view information for that fleet. Users with the scope of account have permission to view information on all fleets allocated to that account. Your grant controls the details of what you can see and what you can do in Guardian Live. Possible grants are Associate, Technician, Standard, Elevated and Administrator. Most users are allocated a Standard grant. If you need access to more than one fleet, but not all fleets in an account, you'll have a Guest grant associated with those fleets in addition to your primary grant. Administrators can also set whether users can view event video and images. If you have questions about your scope and grants and to request changes to them, please contact your administrator. Three components of the Guardian Live web application remain constant. The title bar, the navigation bar, and the content pane. When you're logged into Guardian Live, your scope is displayed in the title bar. A padlock indicates you're at the limit of your scope. Where no padlock is visible, you can view more information. Click to reveal a drop-down box. Search and select what you want to view. A user with fleet access sees three padlocks. A user with account access can click and search within fleet. A bold line under a fleet or account indicates the scope of the information currently displayed. You can favorite a fleet or account depending on your scope by clicking the star alongside it. Clicking a vertical ellipsis will open a menu of views available within that scope. Click the X to clear the selection. The navigation bar enables quick access to information you are permitted to view. It also contains a global search function. Fleets and accounts that you have favorited will be visible here. The content pane displays your dashboard and other views you select. You can maximize the display by minimizing the navigation bar 
and toggling simplified. Click on your profile at the base of the navigation bar to edit your name, phone number, time zone, language and measurement preferences. Items in bold can be changed. You can also change your password and add a profile picture. You can view your grants and your subscriptions to email reports and fatigue intervention plan phone calls. If you have access to more than one fleet, you can switch roles here. Your dashboard is the first page you see when you log into Guardian Live. It displays your local date and time based on your profile settings. You can change the time zone here to match the accounts and fleets you view. It won't affect your profile settings. This dashboard tile displays a count of assets that you have permission to view. Most users will see the number of vehicles and Guardian systems allocated to their fleet. You may see more assets depending on your scope and grants. You can click on a tile to navigate to a list of the assets. The next tile on the dashboard displays event and risk counts for your fleet, including fatigue events detected and fatigue risk. Hovering over each value displays more information about it. You can filter the information by time period. The fatigue risk chart shows the fatigue risk for vehicles you are permitted to view. Expand it by clicking the arrow. A vehicle's fatigue risk is elevated if one confirmed fatigue event is detected in the shift. A vehicle's fatigue risk is critical if more than one confirmed fatigue event is detected in the shift. If events are yet to be classified by a Guardian Centre analyst, a red circle is displayed on the Vehicle tab. You can click a Vehicle tab to view recent events for that vehicle. The Events chart shows event types by vehicle by time. Expand it by clicking the arrow. You can filter the events displayed by selecting and deselecting event types. Hovering over and clicking an event displays more information about it. Use the vertical ellipsis to change the time period. The map tile displays where Guardian units are located based on their last contact with Guardian Live. It also shows where events have occurred. You can pan and zoom the map. Expand it by clicking the arrow. Clicking on vehicle numbers will zoom you to a location. Click on a vehicle or event to get more information about it. Back at the dashboard, there's a summary of the contact states of vehicles. That's how recently the Guardian units reported to Guardian Live. You can click to view more detail. If your grant allows, you can access the event view from the navigation bar. It lists the Guardian detected events for vehicles within your scope. You can search, sort and filter how vehicles are displayed and change the time period. A coloured band identifies the event type. If your grant allows, you can click the event tile to reveal a video clip of the event. You can also view the location of the event on a map and other details about it. You can access the vehicles view from the navigation bar. It displays the operational and contact states of vehicles within your scope. You can search, sort and filter 
how vehicles are displayed. Click the vehicle tile to reveal a map that shows the location of events and heartbeat data. Hover over them for more information. Or toggle the timeline off to scroll through them. You access the Guardian Units view from the navigation bar. It lists the installed units within your scope by serial number. You can search, sort and filter how information is displayed. Information includes the date a unit was registered in Guardian Live and its unique identifier, which can be quoted when requesting support. To log out, click your profile and select Log Out. Guardian Live remembers your login settings and presents them to you when you next log in. Thank you for watching this Guardian Live tutorial. We recommend logging in to your Guardian Live account and practicing navigating the application. For more information, please refer to the Guardian Live user guide in the Technical Communications Portal or TCP. If you view the TCP in a Chrome web browser, you can right mouse click to translate the content into your preferred language. If you need assistance with Guardian Live, contact our 24-7 support centre via email at support at seeingmachines.com.